And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. And welcome back, everybody. We do have the light rain that has commenced across the region, complements of our low pressure center moving through. And a few of the highest elevations like Sandstone Mountain and Snowshoe, it's already starting to change over to snow. But for the most part, we will see that change over later this evening as our temperatures drop from 36 in Marlington, 39 in Oak Hill, 42 in pipe stem down into the lower 30s. So our radar mosaic shows where the blue is occurring, which looks to be right about sandstone mountains where we have some light snow mixing with the rain otherwise it's just a light rain now this rain is making for a wet pavement but not enough to scoot the oils off the road so the roads will be slippery just from the wet pavement itself now here's the culprit this area of low pressure across the upper midwest as it pushes south and east our temperatures overnight are going to drop and as they drop we will see that rain change over to a bit of snow as the polar jet stream continues to dig pretty far south we're not tapping into the subtropical jet stream if we were we would talk about a larger snowstorm but this snowstorm is limited in the amount of moisture and that is why this is going to be a light snow event. Here's our forecast for snowfall. A half an inch to an inch and a half in a stripe just east of Route 19 all the way up towards Marlinton. This will be totally, totally elevation dependent. So if you live on top of a ridge that's about 3,000 feet, you will see the upper part of this range, about an inch and a half. If you live closer to the New River, you'll see spotty accumulations of about a half of an inch and the highest amounts here, Pocahontas County, about two to four inches. The lowest amounts, Bluefield and Tazewell, with a coating. Now, here's the lowdown on the snowfall. It becomes all snow between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. So when we wake up, we will see the snow flying a bit. The steady light snow ends between 7 and 8 a.m. And then the roads above 2,500 feet will be slippery. The roads will dry out during the day and I expect limited school delays because it's an elevation dependent snow. Of course, we will have any that come into the uh, weather center and into our newsroom. Storm number one pushes through tonight and early tomorrow and then we are off to the races, folks, with our temperatures. I guarantee all that snow will be gone by Thursday into Friday as our temperatures warm well into the 50s. Storm number two is a moisture log storm. It's going to bring us an inch of rain, and on the back side of it, it will turn colder with a few flurries, maybe some snow accumulation up towards uh, western Pennsylvania, and then we warm up again. So here's a seven day forecast. Some flurries early on Wednesday. It will turn breezy. That breeze will help dry out the roads a bit, the high 36. We drop back into the mid-20s overnight, so some of those sheltered secondary roads above 3,000 feet will see a little bit of black ice. Thursday and Friday, we warm from the 40s into the upper 50s, a bit of an elevated brush fire risk for a few hours on Friday afternoon. Saturday, it will turn breezy ahead of the next storm system with a high of 58. Guaranteed rain in here on Sunday morning through the afternoon. And then on the flip side of that storm system, we are back with highs in the upper 30s, overnight lows in the 20s with some breezy conditions. Monday, there will likely be a light accumulation of snow in po western Pocahontas County. And then we resume another milder trend Tuesday into Wednesday. So for some tomorrow, it will be a little bit of a winter wonderland. All right, and you said too that our area, our viewing area right here, close to the station itself, we're going to see around half an inch to one and a half inches. So our main concern for most of the area is ice, I presume, right? Yeah, there'll be some slushy spots tomorrow, and then that will, areas that don't dry out tomorrow, such as those north facing areas and the shaded areas, we'll see a little bit of black ice, and that will primarily be in spotty in some of the parking lots and on the driveways. So that's what we're looking at in terms of, uh, of travel. I, I don't expect Route 19 is going to become a sheet of ice or snow cover tonight. I do think that it'll be mainly those secondary roads and it'll be pretty spotty. You'll basically drive down the road and you'll see a little bit of snow along the side of the road. But um, as for slipperiness, it's going to be pretty spotty in nature. Um, but unless you're above 3,000 feet, then it should be pretty icy and you definitely want to heat caution. Like I-64 over Sandstone Mountain could be a little bit tricky in some of those higher spots. All right, now real quick, are you excited to see the snow tonight at 11? I am excited, yes, bring it on. I'm kind of excited too. <laughs> now we have more news coming up after this.